Tea. And I think that this is a polarized... Well, let's face it, all her releases are polarized. Well, hello my lovely nestlings and welcome to today's video, which is another new makeup releases and lifestyle. Because I do have lifestyle today. And if you are new, welcome. My name is Nikki. I'm 46 from the Netherlands, hence the accent. And this is a recurring series on my channel every Friday. If you want to hear more about... Brands that you have never heard about before. If you want to be inspired by unusual color combinations. And if you are slightly orcish like me. Then this is the channel for you. Subscribe now. Become part of my nestling. Because we are having a blast here on the internet. Let me explain slightly orcish. It means olive. That's what I am. And yeah. That's it. Uh, the makeup look I did not film. I just wanted to play. I kind of was inspired by my scarf today. I finally finished my own scarf, which is a... It's a scarf. Can you see that? Can you see the scully right beneath my chin? Can you? There. There's a scully there. So yeah, I made finally made one for myself and it's nice and green. So I wanted to match my eye look. What I did use though, and I will show you, it's the Malibu Quad from Nomad Cosmetics. I used all the shades except the minty. And then for inner corner, I grabbed from St. Angel Sinners the Best Buds palette. And I used the shade Toque. And a hint of Mary Jane, but mostly this. And that is what I have there. Uh, Lippy is from Colourpop. It's one of those glossy lipsticks in the shade Indulge Me. Uh, that is what I have on the face. Foundation is Kosas. And I really like it. Yes, that's... Kind of it in a nutshell. Um, let's just get into it. Because I have so, so much to talk about. I have some updates. I have some new things. So let me go to the side. Let's start with some lifestyle. And I have some very, 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 very cute things. Let's start with these. Which are kind of monstery, monstery, cutesy, cutesy sculptures. This is by Vanessa Ramirez. And... I yeah they I don't really know how they call them how she calls them but it's it's monsters and they're just so so cute so I think she has still some in stock they're just so cute and the reason that I wanted to mention the her is I saw this this one first actually which is I don't know what it is it's a werewolf I don't oh, it's just too cute it's just too cute with the teeth and the big smile it's just what can I say? It's just too cute. So I will link down below where you can find these. And go check her out. I will also link the Instagram handle down below. Go check out her Instagram. Because she has some amazing things. And she also has some pieces available at Stranger Factory. I don't know what that is. But I will leave their Instagram and site down below as well. I think it's kind of an art gallery market. Gallery and artist market. That's what it is. I will leave that down below as well, so you can find her stuff. But it's just too cute. Let me know if you know her, by the way. And if you've ever purchased anything. The next thing that I'm going to mention is from Beth Wildwood. Um, and she paints stones. But these types. This is just so, so cool. She has more available right now. Uh, this was the post that I saved. But it's just so extremely stunning what she's doing. It's basically pagan art. And on a, on a stone. And it's uh, yeah, vi vision stones. I think that's what she's calling them. They're just so, so cool. So I will leave her Instagram handle down below. I will leave her uh, website down below. Go check it out. And I actually just... Got a message from Lethal Cosmetics that I have a discount code with them right now. Which will be linked in the description box. The discount code is Nikki Raven. And it will save you 10%. It's not affiliated. But, you know, maybe it will be in the future. Who knows? I did want to mention it uh, really, really quickly in between. Yes. Uh, the next one that I'm going to go to is... Actually, something that I got sent from my bestie Debbie. And I will leave her channel down below as well. Her name is Debu Debutan. This is from River Stitch. The Death uh, Hawk Moth. And this is crocheted. Uh, so, shawl, I think you call it then in English, right? This is so, so cool. Could I do this? Yes. If I if I had a pattern, I could do this as well. But why should I? This is just so inc incredibly cool. And let's face it, the way that she uh, or he... The way that the person who made this combined all the colors, that's their vision, right? And it's just extremely, extremely cool. Um, the link is in the bio, so I will leave the link 
down below. I will also leave the Instagram handle down below. This is very, very cool. Very cool. There's, I think, the more dark merch available. So definitely, definitely go check them out. And then I'm going to kind of segue a little bit into makeup because a Unique Beauty... If you've been with me longer, you know how much I love Unique Beauty. But she has also now launched apparel. So there's a second Instagram handle that's Unique Beauty Apparel. Now we'll link it down below. But she made earrings. So I have just one of the pictures of the earrings that she made. And this is the Arabian Nights. Um, and they, they look very, very cool. Link in bio, I think. Isn't it just... Yeah, so it's it's from Unique. It's available on Unique Beauty's own site. Now we'll link down below where you can find it. I do have a code with her, but I am actually not sure if it works on the apparel. I think I think it does, but you would have to try. Uh, and she also made T-shirts. So for the art, basically, yeah. So uh, some of the artwork on the smaller palettes she has um, as artwork on T-shirts as well. So you see here the one for the tribe. She also has one for girl trip. Um, uh, she has a beauty trends t-shirt oh is that maybe new modina town t-shirt she's on a roll so i will link down below where you can find it i think she's also having a sale right now on her regular site on her or on her makeup part of the site so i will link down below where you can find it i will also link the instagram handle for the unique beauty apparel down below Go check her out. Go check her out. Okay, now we're going to go into makeup. I, I actually saw this when I went shopping on Boozy Shop. Uh, makeup Revolution did a new uh, collection with Simpsons. They did a Simpsons collection for Halloween. Um, which I liked. But I found extremely weird at the same time. Because I don't associate Simpsons with makeup. Um, I thought that the collection looked fun though. I did not get anything. I was actually tempted to get something. But I'm not really that invested in the Simpsons. Not anymore. So I could I could let it go. And then this is the Summer of Love Simpsons collection. I I, I kind of wish. I like. Let, let's, let me show you the makeup bag. That artwork. I really, really like. I wish that they would have just left it at that. That they just just had would have done the Summer of Love. And then not with the Simpsons. If they had done that, I would probably have gotten some things. Because I just... I just find it weird. That they are doing it with the... That, that this is a collection with the Simpsons. And in this... Maybe it's a, it's a special that I don't know about. It could be that. I don't know. Um... I like the way that the stuff is looking. I like the way that the, the, that the color stories are looking of the palettes. I like that they have done liquid uh, bronzer and all that goodness. I like the collection as a whole. I just personally wish that, they, that it would not have been with The Simpsons. That it would just have been The Summer of Love. And then with that really 70s vibe like on the makeup bag. I would really, really like that actually. Um, yeah, as I said, I do like how it looks. What, what actually do we have... Uh, we have a brush set, a makeup bag, yeah. Then an eyeshadow palette, Homer and March. We have a Lisa eyeshadow palette. Yeah, and that's what I don't get. So that they're doing Homer and March. Yeah, but, but why Lisa? That's kind of odd. Uh, there's a first kiss ombre highlighter. A sunshine ombre highlighter. A daydream super dewy blush. And a radiant super dewy bronzer. Okay, what I... Can already advise from this collection is the super dewy stuff. Because I love with a passion the super dewy formula. And that looks like a color that I would really really like. So it could be that I would just get that for the color. Um, yeah. What else is in there? Uh, there are also luscious lip tints. And a fixing spray. Yeah I kind of like the luscious lip tints as well. I would like to try one of those, kind of. But yeah, I, I I like the way that the palettes are looking. I, yeah, I like the collection as a whole. I just kind of wish it wasn't with The Simpsons. If that part had been taken out, I would definitely be, be getting something from this. As it stands, maybe the super dewy blush. And maybe a lip tint. But that's then kind of it, I think at least. Well, let me know your thoughts though. Uh, let's next go to actually something that I saw just be before I sat down to film. And that is a collection that Hip Tot is doing with its Jojo or Jojo Siva. It looks cute. It looks fun. Now I have 
I, what was she from? Dancing with the Stars or something like that. I know of her because I watched, was it MTV Cribs with her? I think something like that. And that's how I know her. And my, my uh, opinion is purely based on what I saw there. And what I saw there was that this is definitely her. That she uh, loves makeup. She's very hyperactive. She's very bubbly. And this looks... This reminds me of her. So I actually think that this is a collection done very, very well. Now, Hipdot is known for their collections, right? Uh, and I like this. So you get two eyeshadow palettes with six shades. I think they're a combination of matte and glitter. Yeah, yeah, matte and glitter. And for her, that makes sense. I feel at least. I like the color stories of this. Um, there are also lippies. I like this collection. I like, I like how they have done this. If you're a fan of her... Yeah, I, I hope, though. A glitter in... <laughs> Glitter in palettes, it's not something that I particularly love because it can go everywhere. If if the binder isn't enough, then you have glitter everywhere. I do hope that this is a glitter that's not only biodegradable, but also very, very fine. That's what I hope then, because it's just a nicer formula at least. Uh, but I think, again, I think that the collection looks very, very cute. So congratulations, Jojo, on your amazing collab with Hip Hipdot. It looks, honestly, it looks very, very cool. Yeah. Okay. Let me know if you are getting anything. Is it online already? I think it's, I think it's online already. So I will link down below where you can find it. I also have an update from Saint Angel Sinners and the collab with a Smink Berunde. Their palette will launch Friday the 22nd of April. And the first 25 people, yeah, the first 25 pre-orders will receive this limited edition makeup bag to go with the palette. She's also having right now a sale until, I think it's for this weekend, the spring sale um, or the Easter sale. And I will link down below your site. Now, I think that the Easter sale is 20% off and I do have a code, which is 15% off. So just go to the sale. I don't think you can stack codes, uh, but I will link her Etsy shop down below. She has a bunch of stuff in pre-order. So yeah, uh, go check it out. Um, I mentioned this a while ago, the Clean Your Cauldron collection, and it is now uh, we have more information. We have a launch date, which is the 17th of April. The collection includes three loose matte shades, a grungy silvery highlighter, a nine pen shimmer palette, and a collectible storage cauldron. And it looks very, very cool. I don't know if the, I don't think that the candle is included that you see on the picture. Uh, the swatches look stunning. Yeah, so basically you have three, three loose matte shades, and then you have a bunch of shimmers that you can, can combine. I think it looks very, very fun. And I will link the site down below where you can find it. Oh yeah, next I'm going to go to something that one of my friends sent me. Actually, it's another Dutch brand that I, well, that she found. And now uh, I'm stealing her thunder. She doesn't have a YouTube channel, so, but she knows I love her anyway. So thank you so, so much for sending it in DM. You know who you are. Uh, but this is Sphinx, I'm spitting, Sphinx. Cosmetics and it's not Sphinx as in uh, you know the the Egyptian Sphinx, but Sphinx as in the naked kitty cats. I actually adore those kitty cats. Just saying, um, they are a Dutch site SphinxCosmetics.com. I am not completely sure as I'm filming this if they ship internationally. I think they do, uh, but I will leave it down below where you can find it. We have a beauty sponge. We have a few brushes. We have a loose blush. Uh, which is um, a mineral blush, yes, your brush set, yes. Uh, they have cotton rounds, but then from fabric, you know, those those types of things they have. Yeah, they have lip lip balms and lipsticks. They have an eye primer and they have eyeshadow. That's what they have, and I will link their site down below. Um, they are very very small on Instagram. I will leave their Instagram handle down below as well. Uh, let me know your thoughts. It looks very very interesting, and I like finding brands that. No one else is talking about it. No one else even knows about But it is a Dutch-based indie brand. So that's very, very cool. Next, I'm going to go to Huda Beauty. And I think that this is a polarized... Well, let's face it. All her releases are polarized. But this is the Color Block palettes. 
Um, there are two nine pen palettes. They are a combination of mattes and shimmers. And there is a cake liner. One cake liner per palette. And I think that's actually pretty fun. And maybe an unpopular opinion. I really like these. I have her Wild Tiger palette here that I really, really like. I really like these. What can I say? I love the color stories. I love the fact that they are... Um, at least the orange and the purple, I love that combination. And they are opposite the color wheel and they really enhance each other. And then the other one with the green and the yellow. And the, I like them. I like the orange yellow one, uh, the orange purple one more. Because that's just a combination that I really, really love. Uh, I like them. What can I say? They will retail for 29 bucks each. They will be available April 19th on their site. And I will leave the site down below. If you're in Europe, Huda has a European based site as well. There are a bunch of retailers. I don't know uh, when this will launch to other retailers. But I, I actually, I really want to try it. I know that I was on a low buy. And I also just bought... Two palettes from Essence. I will show them. They're just so cute. Where are they? Here. I actually mentioned these a while ago in the new makeup releases. But I, I, I bought them. So here's the Miami. They just look so vibrant. Honestly, they look so vibrant. And then here is the Roma. Let me know which of the two you want to see first. But I cannot wait to try these. Uh, but... So yeah, I, I'm, oh yeah, and my tiny Marvel palette should come in a few days. So I'm very happy about that as well. And I really want to do multiple looks with that, but it's an older palette. So I don't know when uh, I have more things that I want to play with. So yeah, but I really, really like these. Let me know if you want me to review these. Because I am very, very extremely much tempted to get at least the orange purple one. So yeah, let me let me let me know your thoughts down below. Let's go to another kind of polarizing makeup release. Um, yeah, and that's from Wayne Goss because he's coming out with a luxury cream foundation, a setting powder, and a double-sided puff applicator. It will be available April the 19th, 10 a.m. PST online on Beautylish. There are a whopping 12 shades. Now, what I'm going to say is not going to be liked by a lot of people. Uh, if you love Wayne Goss. Maybe you should click out now. Uh, and I don't have anything against Wayne Goss at all. I think that he's an amazing makeup artist. Um, and I think he's very, very talented. I'm not talking about him as a person. This is about his brand. Yes, I know it's expensive to make foundations. I know that he is releasing this and then trying to expand. You know what would have been extremely refreshing though? If he would go outside of the base range. So he has... He has a few very, very light shades. So go from the very, very sh sheet white pale to maybe light. You know, light, pale to light, white paper to light, and then tan and up or darken up. Because let's face it, tan and light, that in the middle, you can, there are so many shades of that. So focus on the on the outer borders that no one is focusing on. Because let's face it, when I want to have a foundation and I'm a light to light medium, so I kind of, a lot of the time I'm smack in the middle. Um, so they don't have my shade either, but I can mix very, very easily because I can find shades around my shade very, very easily. So then I have to, I don't know, combine... Um, a darker foundation, so basically my, my height of summer foundation with my winter, winter foundation. I am used to having two shades anyway. But how refreshing would it be that it would be not the beige spectrum, so the light to tan? No, but the outside of that? Because if I am wanting to try his foundation, I can mix. Yes, it will be more expensive. But what he could then have done is said, listen, I'm going to go to the outer spectrums first because those people never can find their foundations. And I'm going to expand it later with the middle stuff or a few sizes. So of the sizes that he's going to release, release smaller sizes as well. So that if you want to mix, if I want to darken up a lighter foundation, I can still try his stuff and then darken it up a little bit. That would have been so cool if he would have said, listen, I'm not going to go for the middle where, uh, and I know he wants to sell. I get it. But it would have been so extremely refreshing in, if he would have done outside. And again, it's not about him as a person, especially with how popular he is. It would have shown brands that you can do that as well. 
you know? I wish he would have left out the middle shades and expanded outside. I wish he would have done that. That would have been so, so awesome. Uh, but he didn't. So, yeah, let me know if you are trying anything. I'm not because it's not in my um, price class. That was what... <laughs> and honestly, I'm an olive. So I would have to mix this anyway. Um, because looking at the shades, everything will make me orange. So... There is that. The next release I actually find way more interesting. And that's from Be Perfect Cosmetics. And these are, you see here an arm with nine, you see here arms with nine shades. These are cream bronzer. Uh, nine cream bronzer shades. Smooth formula, high pigment available now. They're retail for say, uh, say 19 bucks. And you can also get a pro bundle, which is then all six shades for, or which is six shades for 75. It's kind of weird that they're not doing all nine shades then, but that's me. So looking at this shade range of bronzer, This is better. It looks actually like the lightest shade. If I'm looking at the picture of the arms and I look at the lightest shade in the middle arm, it looks to be an olive. I'm not sure though, but it kind of looks like that, which is then the shade sand. It kind of looks to have a little bit of an oliveness in it. Also pecan. Yeah, pecan. No, not pecan. Uh, the one after, after that is... Swarthy. I know pecan and swarthy kind of almost look a little bit. I want to say greenish, but it could. I'm looking at the middle arm. So. But this, uh, in my opinion, is a shade range done way, 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 way better. Uh, let me know your thoughts. I kind of want to try this one. I don't know when. But I'm very interested in this. Let me know your thoughts down below. Be Perfect is sold also at Beauty Bay. Yeah, at Beauty Bay. Um, I actually don't know if it's also sold at the USA though. Beauty Bay ships to the USA. But I will link down below where you can find it. Okay, let's next go to um, Cleona. And I mentioned Cleona's collab with Emily Violet, Violet Marie last week. I had one thing. And now we have the complete collection. So the Dragon Fruit Collection... Includes a 13 pen eyeshadow uh, palette. And the palette includes a glitter type multi-chrome. A vibrant multi-chrome. Two, two dimensionals. I don't know what that means. Two duochromes. Three metallics. And four velvet satins. It will retail for say 75 Canadian dollars. Which is approximately 60 US bucks. There will also be two nail polishes. Um, and two foot lighters. Which are their multi-chrome highlight. Uh, Duo slash multi chromy highlighters, a Tropico and a Pitaya. There will be a bag, a brush set, and it launches the 27th of April. And it looks extremely stunning. I, th I actually remember Cleona sneaking this last year. I believe they were saying that they were doing a collab. I distinctly remember that. I wish brands would stop doing that though. Because The, the 27th of April and uh, showing it already. I get that you're very excited. I understand that completely. <clears throat> um, but it's it, it reminds me always of the Melt collections at the end of the year. You know, they sneak it for a few weeks and everyone is fed up with it. Um, I think that if you were to show it or start sneaking it, I don't know, in the week leading up to the launch... I think it will, I don't know, hype people up more. Maybe I'm mistaken in that, but that's that's how I kind of feel. Uh, or maybe, hell, even two weeks. But if they're showing it completely now and they're releasing it the 27th. And I mentioned it again last week. So last week they started showing it and it will release in, well, basically another two weeks. And I think that kind of takes the momentum away. Let me know your thoughts on that. Am I mistaken? Because I kind of feel like, especially with the videos that I do, and there are a lot of creators who do this type of video, you know. I'm not going to mention this week after week after week after week. If I have new information, I will mention it. But basically, this is kind of the last time that I'm going to talk about this collection. And I think that's a shame. Um, especially when releases are going so, so quickly... I think that if you, especially if you're on social media and you're also using YouTube to sell, and I know that these types of videos sell makeup. I know that. Um, I think that if you, if, if you can show it 
closer to the launch. A lot of people will talk about this. I know it's um, more difficult if you're a smaller brand, it will be more difficult. I know. But there are also creators like me who talk about smaller brands. So we, you know, and that's what everyone is doing. So I don't know if you're a smaller brand and you're coming out with a collection, find creators that you kind of like that do these types of videos and just send them pictures in DM of your next launch. Um, because if I look at myself and how I use Instagram, a lot of the time you guys send me stuff that I, I just did not see because my feed is full. Does that make any sense? So I actually think, and I don't mean brands bombard creators or, you know, whatever, but just, you know, there are also, uh, if you look in my description box, you will see the, the sources that I use, the Instagram accounts that I use to talk about new makeup releases. There are a bunch of them. So if you are going to release something new, send it in DM to them. Tag them, tag creators that you know do these types of videos in the hope that they will talk about it. Because if I'm tagged often, or if I'm sent it to in DM often, the chances are more are higher that I will talk about it. Does that make any sense? So let me know your thoughts though. But that is for, and I know that there are brands, uh, brands watching. And if you are a brand, let me know the reasoning for it. Um, and maybe I'm very much mistaken. Maybe there is... There is a hype and an extra traction if they mention it earlier. But I feel a maximum of two weeks before launch. I think that's, yeah, I think that's the sweet spot. But maybe I'm mistaken. Let me know your thoughts down below. The collection looks stunning though. The collection looks absolutely freaking lootly stunning. And I hope it will be a huge success. And again, congratulations, Cleona and Emily Violet Marie for this amazing collab. It looks stunning. And I hope it will sell out within minutes. Honestly, honestly. Um, I will link down below where you can find it. And I will also link Emily's uh, YouTube channel. Yes. Uh, let's next go to Aether Beauty. Because they have released a new quad. Rich shades complement each other perfectly while working just well on their own. You get, is it one matte and three shimmers? I think. You can sign up for email and text alerts through the link in their bio. And I will link that down below to be the first to know when it will launch. I actually have a palette from them here. I have this one, the Desert Sunset. Um, one thing that I was really surprised by was the pigmentation of this palette. I did not see that coming. So yeah, if you want to try in anything from them and you like this color story. Yeah, I would say go for it. Um, Personally, I would have loved to have two shimmers, uh, two mattes and then two shimmers. But uh, their formula is soft enough to build up the crease with one color uh, and able to blend it out and then just, you know, have fun with the shimmers. So yeah, let me know down below if you uh, are excited about this. What am I, what is this? This is... Uh... Okay, this is has launched yesterday and it is from Bibella Cosmetics. It's their orange squeeze collection. Uh, you get a setting spray, blush, quadras. I, I'm, I'm thinking that's how you pronounce it. I don't know, but it's basically a quad. A three mattes and one shimmer. Then you get an orange squeeze eyeshadow palette. 15 shades, mattes and shimmers. Oh, and you can get the whole PR collection for 30. Really? Well, that's not that. Wow. Wow. It looks very, very cute. It looks cute. It looks fun. It looks summery. I like the way that this is looking. It makes me feel like summer. And it makes, makes me also realize that I need to hurry it up with filming because it's a glorious day outside. I think this looks cute and fun and summery. Let me know your thoughts. Have you gotten anything? It launched yesterday for you. Uh, so I will link down below where you can find it. I actually don't know if I mentioned this in a new makeup release, I have no idea. But let's go to this, which is from Essence. Uh, it's the uh, Fix and Last Jelly Primer. And they also have it in store where I live. As far as I know, it's only available in Europe. But it hits stores now, at least in the Netherlands. I got mine at uh, Trekpleister, but I think Kruidvat also sells it. Probably Ethos as well. I don't know, but I have it here. I have her here, and I'm trying her out so far. I really, really like this. This... This is a jelly primer, not as sticky as the Milk Makeup one or the one from Extra Revolution, but sticky enough. Um, I feel like it hydrates. I feel like it grips. It it makes it's such a thin layer, and 
I have the Kosas foundation on today. It works extremely well underneath that. It makes it a little bit more luminous as well. At least I feel so. It's free from alcohol or silicones and alcohol. If you want a high, that's my, my opinion right now. If you want a hydrating primer that has some grip in it, that's th <coughs> thin in texture. And you see this one, try it. <coughs> I think it's definitely, definitely worth the money. Um, Yeah, you can, you, um, actually they say it moisturizes and can be warm wi worn with foundation or alone. And I agree. I do feel though that if you wear it on its own, you're kind of looking like a grease ball. You're not. And it does set. It does set. So it doesn't stay. Uh, the Milk Makeup one and the one from X Revolution, they stay tacky for quite some time. Uh, this one dries down quicker. And... Or sinks in quicker. Um, and it is less sticky than that. But it's still sticky. And I actually re I really, really like it so far. Just so you know. Um, so I will link down below where you can find it. I will link uh, Cosmetic for Less. Uh, Cosmetic for Less is linked already. You can also get it on Boozy Shop if you prefer to shop online. Let's next go to uh, What's Up Beauty. Because they have released a new collection. It's the Geode Collection. It is releasing today, as you're seeing this, 9 a.m. PST or 12 p.m. EST. The collection includes an eyeshadow palette and six matching colors of nail polish. The Geodes eyeshadow palette retails for 41 bucks. It's made in Italy. It's a talc-free formula, 12 shades, um, five are duochromes, two are iridescents, and five are mattes. The nail polishes are six shades. They are, say, 13 bucks each. They are made in the USA. They are... I don't know, they have different finishes. Two, have, two are gem encrusted, two are duochromes, then the matte and the cream. You can get the full collection in a bundle for, say, 100 bucks. And I will link down below the site where you can find it. This looks extremely pretty. I have tried their first... This is the second eyeshadow palette that they are releasing. I have tried their first one, and the quality, it's stunning. Definitely worth the pricing. Definitely. I have seen some creators get this in PR. I was not one of them, which is completely fine. I... Actually, don't know if I am on their PR list. I have no idea. But this looks very, very pretty. Very, very pretty at all. Uh, indeed. I will link down below where you can find it. And let me know if you are excited. Uh, let's next go to Deadly Sins Cosmetics. Because they have released their Out of This World collection. It's just in time for the 420 intro... 420? Oh, 20, of, 20 April. Yeah, never mind. We write it differently. We write the day and then the month. So for me, it would be 24. Not, never mind. Uh, they have released their Out of This World uh, collection. And it is a beauty sponge. It's, uh, uh, let's see, it's a, a bath fizzer. Yeah, a bath bomb. And there's a choice between a UFO or a pink alien. There's an alien sponge. There's an alien enameled pin. There are alien large stickers. There are earrings. And then there's a matte liquid lipstick shade in the sh uh, liquid lipstick in the shade uh, Rest in Peace, which is a gray. It looks cute. Let me know your thoughts. Have you ever ordered from this brand? I haven't. And they have very, very cute stuff. They are actually in uh, Melbourne, Australia. So another Australian-based brand. I will link their site down below. Go check them out because they have a lot of fun stuff for sure. Okay, what was this? Oh yes, this is from Face Glaze Beauty. They are releasing their new holographic multi-chrome singles. There are also six planetary alignment pressed multi-chrome holographic pigments. And they sound very, very pretty. Um, there are also five candy pressed double chrome holo... Double chrome? Yes, I said that correctly, right? It's all available now, but it looks so incredibly stunning. So if you are on the market for... These types of shades, holographic, holographic multi-chrome singles. I will leave their site down below. And it looks very, 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 very pretty. Yes. Let me know if you've ever tried the brand. The shade Butterfly. Oh, and then the other one is... Oh, that's, that is Butterfly, the one that I'm looking at. It looks so extremely pretty. It looks very, very pretty. Okay, let's next go to Lunar Beauty. So basically, you get an eyeshadow palette, you get a blush... Uh, palette and you get lip oils now i am actually waiting for it to come to boozy shop i have asked it is coming to boozy shop 
Uh, as, I am, as I'm filming this, it hasn't launched on Boosty Shop yet, but I know it's coming because I asked. I'm actually very interested in his lip oils. Uh, I saw his reveal of the palette, and the weird thing was that he kept saying that the, the shades were pink, but when I look at the picture, they're not really pink, they're orangey peachy. But it looks very, very pretty, and I was kind of tempted to try it, and I'm still kind of tempted to try it. But honestly, how often will I use it? Probably not that often, but it looks very, very stunning. I'm not in the market for a blush palette, though. That's not me. That's not something that I use. Uh, but I'm definitely going to try the lip oils when they get to Boozy Shop. Let me know if you have gotten anything. Let me know down below. So let's go to the last thing that I have. And that's from Bella Beauty Bar. Um, it's the Poison Garden Palette number 2. It's an 18 pen eyeshadow palette. 5 dual chromes, 1 multi-chrome, 9 mattes and 3 shimmers. And it launches today at 12 p.m. EST. And it looks very, very, very stunning. It looks like a very fun palette. A very, very pretty. And it looks like something uh, very much this time of year. Let me know if you... Are excited let me know if you're getting it uh, this was it for the new makeup releases i am still here at the site because it's also fly my my weekly shout out for my members that you will see scrolling on the screen right now if you want to become a member there is a link to join in the description box now i want to um chat a little bit more really quickly about the live that i was planning i was planning it this weekend but unfortunately stuff happened and i'm not able to do it this weekend so i want to do it next weekend the live I, i'm going to plan it for saturday and i think for me around five o'clock that's probably what i'm going yeah because with dinner and all that i think next saturday five o'clock will be the best time for me to plan uh, the members only live and i will schedule it ahead of time so you can join if you are able to and if you want to become a member there's a link to join in the description box did i already say that i don't know i think i did but yeah that was it for today Thank you so, so much for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the comment section below. I am going to wish you a fantastic day, a fabulous evening. May your foundation always match your neck. And I will see you uh, very, very soon for my next one. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.